Welcome back. In the last video I showed you my rotating vertical hydroponic towers and in this video I'm going to show you the stationary vertical hydroponic towers that I built. These videos and images are actually from summertime of 2017 so kind of old but uh, uh, I, had, I had good success with these systems and uh, I'd still you know like to show them to you. Um, so these systems are made from, that you see here at least, are made from 4 inch PVC pipes and to manufacture one of these pipes you cut slits down the 4 inch pipe, you heat it up with either a blowtorch or a heat gun, I recommend an electric heat gun, and you use something that uh, is similar to uh, 2 inches in diameter. Um, like these plastic net cups because that's that's where the plants grow out of uh, and you basically jam it into the hot uh, slit while it's hot uh, and uh, you keep it there until it cools down and when you take the uh, the mold out it uh, it keeps its shape uh, the PVC has been molded into you know the shape that uh, uh, that these plastic net cups will fit into um, these are called grow pockets. Uh, you can get them online. They're a bit pricey. I think they're about five bucks a pop. And uh, the difference between uh, the grow pockets and these uh, heat molded holes were uh, are that uh, uh, you you drill holes with a hole saw down the pipe and you glue these grow pockets over the holes. And the same. Uh, plastic net cups that fit into the heat molded holes will also fit into the grow pocket holes. Um, so that's how that works. And uh, in this video you're gonna see exactly how this system works. So there's the water tank with the pump. The water is pumped through the hose into the PVC pipe. Each uh, grow tower has its own dedicated uh, pipe that the water trickles out of and the water is recycled through the drain and back into the nutrient reservoir. I don't have the hardware hooked up uh, for it to drain in the nutrient reservoir in this video but you know I eventually did do that and as you can see you get pretty good water coverage for the plant roots. And the main thing I don't like about this system is uh, I, I was getting a ton of leaks. Uh, water you know, leaks through um, these heat molded holes. They were leaking out of the grow pockets. I didn't have a, the best uh, PVC cement seal. And uh, that is not what you want uh, for a hydroponic system. You do not want leaks in your system. Um, this is the other system that I built. And this uh, I actually saw on another YouTuber's channel. Um, I, the, the title of his uh, video is called basement hydroponic tower garden version 2.0 and his uh, YouTube channel is Marion Joe Newmayer um, so yeah quick shout out to him that's where I uh, first saw this uh, system and these are one and a half inch PVC pipes with 45 uh, degree wise um, and I ran it uh, using the same nutrient tank that the four inch pipes uh, in front of the system are running off of and uh, basically turned it into one big system uh, the four inch pipes and the one and a half inch pipes so in this video you can see I've planted the towers and uh, the seedlings are looking nice so in 2017 in uh, my part of the country um, in Washington State we had a like a crazy heat wave and uh, actually before building these towers I was traveling abroad in Southeast Asia and I came back uh, home and uh, for the first couple weeks while I was home and while these seedlings were incubating inside um, it was like the temperature outside was like you know mid 70s to low 80s and no joke the day I transplanted these the temperature got up to uh, like 105 degrees and we had this crazy heat wave uh, for a couple weeks where the temperature was in 
you know, it, it ranged from 100 to or, you know, 100, 809 degrees right after I transplanted them into the towers, but they all survived, so um, everything worked out. So yeah, um, pretty nice little seedlings, and as the videos and images progress, you can see they're getting bigger. Um, the system back here wasn't getting enough light, and uh, I had pretty slow gro growth and uh, pretty leggy results. Uh, leggy plants are basically um, plants that elongate themselves to reach the sun. And you'll see some images of that coming up here. So, in this video you can see the plants are getting a little bigger. And you can see how much he's stretching on that back wall there. I used uh, like a car, uh, the thing you put in your car dash to reflect light. I put that over my nutrient tank because it was so hot. And uh, unfortunately I didn't have a water chiller uh, to chill my nutrient reservoir. So I was dumping, uh, I was freezing gallons of ice and dumping that in my nutrient tank. And that's how I kept these plants alive in this hot weather. So, if the roots were damaged, you would notice that the roots would be brown because they would basically kind of start dying off and decaying. Um, so brown roots are not a good sign, but as you can see, those roots are nice and healthy, despite the hot weather. So, getting bigger. One of the benefits to the 4 inch PVC pipes over the 1.5 inch PVC pipes is the diameter of the pipes so much wider, uh, so much larger, and you can grow larger rooted plants. So this is a called an octobubbler, and this is basically what I use to transport uh, water to eight different tubes that you're about to see. Um, and I'll have to make a DIY video on how to make this setup. Um, so back over here, you can see plants are getting bigger. And uh, we'll be coming back. To, sorry, I didn't order the pictures very well. Uh, we'll be coming back to that uh, octobubbler setup. Everything is getting big, nice and healthy, and here it is. Um, so this is basically my my tree uh, that I created, and there's that octobubbler with a uh, quarter inch poly tubing uh, going to each tube, and the uh, water tank, the uh, nutrient tank, is uh, right here underneath the wood, and so this is a standalone system, which is pretty cool. You could you know if you wanted to you could put the whole system on a dolly and uh you know it it'd be a wheeled system and uh you could wheel it around it wouldn't work too well in the grass but if you were on a hard surface it would work work quite well and um this is a different one uh but uh what's what's it was kind of a stupid idea but I was um I was afraid that the pumps that I was using in these trees uh, weren't going to pump the water hard enough to where it would uh, reach the front of the pipes, you know, up here around the 45 degree angle part. Uh, that's where the roots are, you know, when these plants are small and uh, the roots haven't grown yet. Um, so I, uh, I leaned them forward so that the water would uh, actually kind of sneak up into the 45 degree angle part of the um, tubes and in the long run uh, that made no difference in fact it probably it actually uh, impeded the growth because 
um, they were facing downwards uh, so much. They were sloped so far forwards that it they weren't getting uh, as much sun as uh, as this system right here, as this tree. And uh, as you can see, these are obviously more uh, vertical, and they're not sloped forward. But everything grew just fine in this system. Here's a piece of Swiss chard. Um, man, leafy greens grow so well in hydroponic systems. And the leaves just, they come out so beautiful. There's a little frog. I, I had like a frog invasion, man. Um, these frogs were getting in my nutrient reservoir. Um, they were really attracted to these hydro setups. I was, uh, I was finding frogs everywhere. Here's some of that legginess that I was telling you about earlier. You can see it's crazy. Look at how much this lettuce. This is a lettuce, a romaine lettuce right here. Um, look at how much that stretched. Unbelievable. Um, but yeah, obviously back here was not getting enough light. Um, the, the plants did not grow. Look at that. Super stretchy. Isn't that crazy how plants can do that? And stretch themselves towards the light and a very poor performance with this system I actually use the uh, pipe the tubes from from this system to create the uh, the the circular shaped ones the trees that I just showed you but yeah back here you can see great awesome growth for the most part this my backyard is fenced off and surrounded by trees so it doesn't get the most sunlight so yeah uh i got worse growth on the tower that was sloped so far forwards better growth here and um you're actually seeing a couple different grows i planted these towers um i think two times each throughout the year so not all the pictures are from the exact same growth cycle. And um I think it was what what was it? October, I believe. It was either late September or early October when um we got our first rain uh, decent kind of cold weather rainfall and I remember going into the backyard and taking out a lettuce a romaine lettuce and eating it and it was like the most crisp delicious lettuce I'd ever had you can see um, really nice growth especially on top um, like I mentioned, my backyard here didn't get the best sunlight, best sun coverage. So you can see the plants don't grow as well on the bottom, but they grow pretty well on the, the canopy here. There's that dumb tower that I sloped forward. <laughs> I just wanted to basically test it out in comparison. And here's that romaine lettuce that I told you about. Um, it's wet. This uh, It's wet from the rain, actually. This was our first rainfall. Uh, in cold weather that year and man this uh, you know it's beautiful it was a, it was delicious it was a great lettuce and you can see how white those roots are nice and perfect um, and, you know that's about it um, again this uh, I, I planted a, a different grow here I tried uh, growing I tried doing another grow in, uh, I think this is like October, and um, didn't really work out. It was too cold, um, and um, the you know not enough sunlight, especially in this backyard where it already doesn't get too much sunlight. But um, yeah, uh, thanks a lot for checking out this video, and I plan on doing a DIY video for the one of these trees. Um, I go I plan on doing a DIY video um, but I'm going to do a DIY video uh, for one of these trees that rotate 
more similar to the uh, the rotating tower in my previous video. Um, I you know I'd really like to do a DIY video to show you guys how to create one of these for yourself. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, please leave any questions and comments down below. And thank you very much. Take care.